let's have a practical question how the earning per share is calculated pay limited net income is 10000 for the period and paid 1000 cash dividend to the preference shareholder and 1500 to the ordinary shareholder so try to understand here we need to deduct only the preference share cap, uh, dividend not the ordinary share dividend so the remaining balance at the beginning of the year there were 1000 ordinary shares outstanding beginning may have a of 1000 shares the 2000 new shares were be issued on 1st july at full market price so now you have another 2000 shares but that will start from 1st of july so first 6 months you get 1000 shares but in the last 6 months you got 3000 shares as such but we need to work out weighted average. Just see how to work out the weighted average. Net income available to ordinary shareholders is 10,000 minus 1,000, 9,000. Note dividend paid to the ordinary shareholders should not be deducted. Weighted average of number, 1,000 remain in the market for six months, so six over 12, and then 3000 remain another 6 months yani 2000 jo baad mein add kiye aapne wo 3000 ho gaye aur wo bhi phir 6 mahine market mein rahe to aap inko average out kar le so that comes to 2000 yani 1000 ka 6 12 mein half le to 500 aur 3000 ka half le to 1500 total average is to 2000 so basic earning per share simple 9000 divided by 12000 to 4.5 per share so that is how weight is calculated. You know, I have taken only one instance. There can be three, I mean, maybe first of April you issued some shares and you have issued July. So accordingly, you have to work out the weighted average. It's not that, that there are only two. There can be three junk and then accordingly you work out on time basis again that how much number of shares we use to calculate the basic earning per share. So for profit is concerned, that is clear. After Reference dividend and the number of shares should be weighted average number of. Thank you very much.